Hey guys, in this video, we will be looking at a three-dimensional model of a butterfly that I have created using Spline. I will also be explaining in brief how you can create one such model yourself. So without further ado, let's dive in. First, we need to find an image of a butterfly you like and import it in your project. Draw the outline of the chosen image carefully. Using the pen tool, after drawing the outline, a shape would be created that would resemble the area that you have outlined. By default, the shape is two-dimensional hence. We add thickness to the shape drawn above by extrusion to make the butterfly shape resemble the original photo that we chose. We add the same butterfly image to an image layer on the left and right wing and then adjust its proportions so that it fit the respective shapes of the wings. We do the same for the body of the butterfly. Since the body of a butterfly is thicker than the wings, we increase the extrusion of the body of the butterfly and then add bevels to it. Bevels are added to make the sharp corners of the model round so that it creates a curved surface. Doing that lead to white patches on the body. We mask the patches using a cube edited using the Smooth and Edit tool. The loop cut feature of this tool allows you to create extra edges on a three-dimensional object. Since these edges and corners created can be edited, this tool gives us more precise control over the shape of an object and hence is used to manipulate the shape of basic three-dimensional objects. Using this tool, we can take a basic cube or a sphere and mold it into the shape that we like. Now, to animate the model, add states to the left and right wings of your model before adding a transition event to alternate between the two states. We also add states in a transition event to the butterfly model as a whole to mimic the up and down bobbing of a butterfly when it flaps its wings. Since the body of our butterfly is complete, it's time to add them legs. So, using a photo, trace the outline of the legs using the pen tool. After you get the shape duplicated and arrange it so that it matches the arrangement of legs on a butterfly. Now, to make our model a bit more life, like we animate the legs and the antennae of our model the same way we animated the wings. After that, Make sure to add colors to the legs in form of a linear gradient that goes from black to dark brown and from dark brown to a lighter version of brown. Now all that's left is to hit play and feast your eyes with the beauty of the model you have just created. And just like that, my friends, we have created three-dimensional model of a butterfly using nothing but an image. Have a look at it, as it might be the only time you will be seeing the left and the right wing working together in harmony. Jokes aside, do let me know your thoughts on this model, and whether or not you would like a detailed video explaining the process in more detail. Also feel free to suggest what I should build next. That's it for today. Till next time. See ya.